usability considerations and basic editing once that you are done doing your recording if you gave a very straightforward lecture that you're very happy with you can go ahead and export it and you can use that recording for distribution for your students nonetheless sometimes your delivery of that recording is not perfect and a little bit of cutting over here and over there will improve the quality of your production considerably so this section is meant to tackle that first we're going to cover some basic editing and for that we're going to review Camtasia's interface this is the main Camtasia interface and is divided in three main parts the first part this area over here is normally called the bin and it will also show all the types of information depending on what it is that you click down here this area over here is the viewing area where your video will be showing this is the place where you will have an actual visual representation of your video so you know exactly what you're doing at the time of editing and finally this bottom part over here is where you actually gonna place your videos your audio your images and other elements in a timeline fashion for you to have this video run from beginning to end normally these three areas and the type of things that you can do in these three areas can also be accomplished by following the different menu options so the way it goes is that any interface allows you to do most of the things that you can do through the menu structure in a graphical interface very well let's import a video and for that I'm gonna go to my very first news map example when you import a video you will find that video in your bin uh, basically this is where all of your media is going to be collected before you start using it and cutting it and doing things to it in this bottom part so all of the media that you bring when this button is pressed will be shown here in this bottom part we're going to see this little triangle which normally is referred to as the head and the head indicates what part of the video you're looking at we're going to move this head all the way to the very beginning of the timeline to 0, 0.0 and at that moment I'm going to right click on my cam rec and I'm going to choose the first option which is add to timeline at playhead and there it is you can see that the video recording has been placed on the timeline and now there's a visual representation of this timeline over here now let's undo that for a moment to do it in another way I am gonna just bring this video and I'm gonna drag it down to the timeline and that would also work the thing that we have to be careful when we do it this way is that the beginning of the video file might not be placed exactly where you wanted it so that means that you might want to just click and drag the video to place it in a specific location in the timeline where it would work for you now that we have this uh, video position here we can see that we're going to have other different type of information in the bin area whenever it is that we click on each one of these tools so basically this area over here is dynamic and it changes based on what it is that you're changing in your recording in this area over here you can also manipulate the final sizes of your recording this is the export size that your video will have whenever it is that you render it you also have this option to shrink to fit which means whatever it is the dimension of this screen over here your entire recording will show there and by the way you can move these different areas by finding the middle part with your cursor and once that you find that little arrow there you can click and drag in order to change the dimensions of your interface and this is helpful for different parts of the production of your video in this case if I want to see exactly how it would look for a person once that the video has rendered I would have to go over here and click on 100% so this is the actual size of my video recording 
However, it's not going to be very easy for me to manipulate it because, well, there's only so much I can see. So that's why it is a good idea to work with shrink to fit. And in this way, you're going to be able to see all of your video and all of your editing decisions. You can also uh, go full screen or you can even detach the video window. And this is sometimes helpful when you have two monitors and you can place this window in another monitor and you just leave this area for your work. However, I am going to bring this back to the main interface. In this part over here, you're going to find some of the tools that are going to be your best friends at the time of producing these type of videos. And why do I call them your best friends is because basically you can undo anything that you do in your editing. So you can go ahead and try to do edits and if they don't work, you just click on undo and you start all over again. There's another way to do this type of undoing and sometimes it's a little bit more reliable and it is based on saving your project multiple times as you move forward. And every time that you save the project, you save it with a different name so you can move through different versions leaving an archive. For example, in this case, I will record it as news map one. And as I do some of the changes over here, then I save it again as news map two and then a news map three and so on. And I keep on increasing in the sequence. And at any given moment, I can go back in my archive and recover things if I need to do so. Also, you're going to find the typical tools that you find in most editing programs, and it is the cut, the copy and the paste. You're going to find this magnifying glass over here. And what this means is that you can get a lot closer. You can zoom in, so to speak, into the recording. And then you're going to see other parts of the audio presented here. And also these marks are going to show how zoomed in you are. This is one second, another second, another second, and so on. I'm going to reduce this so we can see all of the recording. There it is. Very good. The best way to learn the rest of the interface and how it works is by starting to do different process of editing. And you will see how all the different parts of this interface interact with your video. And we're going to cover many of the tools that Camtasia gives you in order for you to do high quality recordings.